I think in America they call this an unboxing. Um, I've yet to do my cylinder head, which um, has a problem, one of the cylinder heads at least, after a compression test. As part of that process, um, I'm not sure why, as I don't have any um, stainless steel tubular exhaust manifolds, and the only other piece of performance equipment I've got is the carburetor. Um, so I have, and the car came with it, one of the Edelbrock carburetors, 1407. It was just a replacement. But I thought it would look pretty. Uh, so this is the Edelbrock Performer Manifold 2191. Um, it comes with obviously instructions and I'll put copies of these at the very end. What it does say though that um, it's meant to operate from idle to 5,500 RPM. There are others, the performer RPM intake, which is meant to operate at a different rev range. Regardless of the fact that I have recently removed my EGR valve and put a plate on the cast iron inlet manifold that this is going to replace, um, I still ended up buying this manifold. It would appear to be much easier, instead of going to all the effort of making a plate and having the issue that I had with a sheared bolt, these have threaded uh, ports. And there's supposed to be in here somewhere, presumably two plugs or bolts that you bolt in there and they seal those ports off. It mentions that the throttles brackets might need adapting. Uh, I need to make sure I use the stock valley pad. This one is the inlet manifold and it's part of the performer series. It does mention though that because of how efficient it is, it, it may need the jets and rod changing. May also mean that I need to reset the advance on the distributor. Um, I need to use the Edelbrock sealant or otherwise some replacement sealant, and I need to investigate that. And then it tells you about the sequence for tightening the manifold down. It talks about the torque being 25 foot pounds. Um, as with most things, I would normally do that up much less to start with and go around two or three times. I think those are those are all the main things that I noted when I was reading the instructions that came with this manifold. That's where the pipe goes that you connect up to the uh, brake servo and the other vacuum accessories. So that applies the main vacuum over the system. Um, that's where the coil would go. Absolutely no idea what, what, what goes here. I don't have anything on the, the one I've got in the car. So I guess the manifold female part is tapered because these get tighter as you twist them in. So just some sealant on there and then screw them down till they're tight. Well, that gasket can only go one particular way. Well, 
I've no idea why why I've got that gasket and um, and this metal one. It hasn't said in the instructions. And there's no there's no reference number on this. So I'll have to do a bit more research on that. My car also has a, a spacer on top of the manifold. Obviously gaskets above and below. There's no metal gasket there at all. And I don't know why I've got a spacer, but presumably that will go back. I just need to make sure I've got another gasket in case I damage those. 